welcome back students so this is the concluding lecture of this particular module on other partition function today we will discuss some problems the problems which we will be deal dealing it with uh, problems with respect to the ensembles you have done the isothermal isobaric ensemble then we have also done the micro canonical grand canonical and finally the semi grand canonical ensemble so we will see some examples and then we will also see the one adsorption isotherm problem so Primarily, we will see some problems and then we are use of grand canonical ensemble for adsorption isotherm. We will see both of this together. So, let us discuss some elementary problem, then we will go across to the adsorption. The first problem says that show that for two phases in equilibrium, so there are two phases in equilibrium, let us say the phase A and phase B, the grand canonical partition function for the total system is given by this. So, you have to show that this is true. That is the part grand canonical partition function which is mu Vt is equal to the product of the grand canonical partition function of phase A and phase B. If this is we are able to provide or prove what does this mean thermodynamically? Is it also true that the canonical partition function Q is now Q is equal to QA into QB? So, if mu for mu Vt if this is true the product of the individual canonical partition function. So, is it true for the individual canonical ensemble also? So, we will see that. So, ultimately what we have right now here is let us suppose we are having the entire system having total number of moles as Ns, total number of system of moles. So, this Ns comprising of number of moles in phase A plus number of moles in phase B. Okay? So, total number of moles is equal to number of moles of phase A plus phase B. So, in this case energy, total energy of the system I can also write separately which is nothing but the energy of a particular microstate having number of molecules as Na constant in a volume V and energy of a microstate B that is A and B are the phases. So, here A and B or this I can write interchangeably. So, if I write here small a, I should also write here small a so that it does not confuse because we are talking about two phases given by a and b. So, I can write here e a and e b will be again a function of number of moles of phase b and the constant volume. Okay? So, these two condition we are well aware. So, now we can write down the overall partition function for this system. So, this partition function for the entire system will be nothing but the total number of molecules into e to the power of minus beta into the energy of the system into e to the power of then you have this beta into ns into mu beta into ns into mu okay this is the entire system fine so now what we can do we can now uh, just write two separate out regarding Na and Nb. So, this is Na and this is Nb. Let us write down the summation. Let us break this energy into a sum of A plus B. So, in this case there will be two terms. Okay. So, if you do that you will get e to the power of minus beta Ea minus beta into Ei by A then e to the power of minus beta E i into B. Then the other term will remain the same because we are talking about the total number of moles. So, it will be e to the power of B into N s into mu. Okay? So, I have just broken them into this was the total number of molecules of the two phases together. These are the two phases that is number of molecules in phase A and number of molecules in phase B. So, both the summation will work upon this energy term E i A and E i B. Okay? we can now simplify it further. So, what you can do is you can write down this term in this manner. So, because this is N A term it will only operate on the terms of E i A into N S A. So, what I do is I will further break this down. So, this N A and this N B I can break it down. This was already there before. Now, the second step what I will do, I will break it down and I will write here B into, so in this case it will be N of A 
into mu into e to the power of b of n b upon mu. So, what I have done is here I have broken the total number of moles as n a plus n b and in this case the total number of total energy E s are written as E i a plus E i b. So, I have separated out the expressions. Now, what I will do is that I will just collect these terms together this one term with respect to a and these and then this term. If I collect these two terms together, so I will get here an expression something like this e to the power of minus beta into e i into a then this term e to the power of beta n a into mu then this term again this will work on molecules of a and b. So, I write here small a small b. So, e to the power of minus beta e i into b then multiplied by the e to the power of beta n b by mu. Now, just pay attention. So, this term and this term, this is nothing but I can write down this is nothing but partition function of A, partition function of system of subsystem A and this will be of subsystem B, is not it? Because this term contain terms of A and this contain terms of B. So, it means we are thus able to prove that the overall partition function of the entire system is the product of A into product of B. So, that is what we were asked to provide. If you say this is part A, then part B says what does this mean thermodynamically? Let us see. So, thermodynamically it means that what does it imply? That all the thermodynamic, all the thermodynamic extensive variables ok. The extensive variables are additive, extensive variables are additive. So, if you just add the thermodynamic property of system A plus system B, you will get the thermodynamic property of the entire system are additive ok. So, let us say for example, S will become S A plus S B, entropy of the entire system will become entropy of system A plus entropy of system B. Also, it implies what the other property is also constant throughout the system. So, it implies that T and mu are constant in both the systems, both the systems because both the systems are in equilibrium which implies that the temperature of system A and temperature of system B, chemical potential of system A and chemical of system B are equal. So, it means I can write down that chemical potential of the entire system is chemical potential of system A which is equal to chemical potential of system B ok. This is one conclusion and obviously, the temperature of system entire system is equal to temperature system A which is equal to system B. So, these are the two important outcomes of B. Now, the question is C part it says that if that is true will this be also true, will this be a product of Q A and Q B. So, you take up this expression let us suppose from A from expression A we know what is the expression of mu in terms of Gibbs energy. Let us write that expression. So, that expression is nothing but minus k t into d of l n q a by d of n. So, expression for mu is equal to minus k t d of l n q a by d n. So, this we have already seen earlier when we described the canonical partition function the expression of chemical potential ok. The chemical potential is always equal to minus k t of dou l n q by dou n. So, this we already know earlier. So, I am just using that expression. So, it means this in this case this is for the entire system 
which is equal to minus kt of d of ln of qa by d of n which is equal to minus kt into d of ln qb by d of n. So, it means all these are equal. So, but the issue is, so obviously this will be equal to some value, some value. So, that should be some constant, some value means it is should be some equal to some constant. So, it means q s can be equal to q a into q b only when, only when that constant is equal to unity. But in this case, are we able to show that it can be unity? No, it cannot be unity, right. They are constant, some value will be there. Because of this expression, you cannot say they will be a product of each other. So, in this case, you cannot say in the case of canonical partition that you can do a product of the individual subsystem and get the overall partition function. So, the statement is, so we can write down there, the statement is false statement is false okay so this is the proof so in the case of gan canonical ensemble we have proved that they can be written as a product of the two subsystem but in the case of canonical partition function no you cannot write down there is a product of the two systems let us see another problem so this is a derivation problem we have asked you to derive the isobaric isothermal partition function for a binary mixture, so suppose there are two components A and B and I asked you to find out the partition function. Till now what we are doing is we are finding the partition function of a single component A or B. Then once we obtain the partition function for a binary mixture, we are asked to derive the thermodynamic properties from the binary mixture isothermal isobaric partition function. Okay. So let us suppose this is a non-interacting system. Let us suppose this is a non-interacting system first. So that any fluctuation of component A does not affect component B. So in this case the overall partition function if I want to write in terms of canonical partition function it is Q of Now here I am writing the product, but the earlier problem I could not write product. Why? Because the compound, the phases were in equilibrium. In this case, you have only a single phase, which is a homogeneous mixture. So both the components are inside the system and both the components are not interacting with each other. So that is why I can write like this. Okay. So that is you should pay attention between the uh, difference why we are writing in this case because it is a homogeneous mixture. So uh, obviously uh, this overall number of molecules will become Na plus Nb total number of molecules. So the we write the partition function for a isobaric isothermal ensemble delta Npt. So this is really based on our definition which we have written earlier. It is Q of Nvt into e to the power of minus Pv by Kt. Okay. Or if I want to write in double summation, so first summation will be on the volume, second summation will be on the energy, so it will be e to the power of minus Ei by Kt into e to the power of Pv by Kt. Okay. This you have known already. So here n is the total number of molecules. Now what I will do is that, so if it is a non-interacting mixture, so I can also write the total energy Ei as equal to the microstate energy of system A plus the microstate energy of system B. I can write like this. So what I will do, I will write and separate out the variables. So this will be a function of now Na, Nb and pressure and temperature, okay. The partition function for a isobaric isothermal ensemble. So which I will not tinker with the expression corresponding to the canonical partition function that is e to the power of minus pv by kt because both are within the constraint volume v then but the other things i can always write like this e to the power of minus ei a by kt into 
e to the power of minus e let's say i just uh, differ with the subscript j i for system a and j for system b otherwise the expression is the same so this is systems of subsystem A and J is for subsystem B. So if we write like this, it means what I can do is I can have this sum with respect to this. So once I can write a sum with respect to this, another I can sum with respect to this because they are non-interacting. So if I write this with this, so this becomes simply equal to, I will make it a single summation. So the single summation, I can, I can easily write like this, Na into V into t okay and then qb into nb into v into t e to the power of minus pv by kt this way i can write down so i have if i combine this with this and this with this so this becomes qa and qb okay so this is what the important partition function in terms of na nb p and t so then we have got the partition function for a binary mixture. Now the second part asks us to calculate the thermodynamic properties from the isothermal isobaric partition function. Let us see. So for this we know some of the derivation which I have done already earlier. So G minus GT is equal to ln of partition function. So whatever we have derived for a single component system that will be valid for binary mixtures also. So I am just writing out those expressions. So and uh, this statistical mechanics says it is minus S D T plus V D P plus mu i D N i. These are the expressions which you already know. So the expression for entropy we have already derived in the earlier for canonical ensemble. I just write down K L N delta plus K T. Here it was Q. Now I am writing is a delta or this particular function for NPT ensemble. In canonical partition function, you have to replace this by Q. That's the only difference. Otherwise, the term or the expression remains the same. So plus K T. Then I'll write the derivative term by dot T. Okay. This is the expression. For volume, I can write down V equal to minus KT into do ln delta by do P by T and N. Then mu I also have an expression. Mu I will be minus KT into do ln delta by do N I at constant pressure, temperature and where nj is not equal to ni. This is the expression. So now you can also write down u because you know h the enthalpy is equal to u plus pv. Okay. So and uh, you can also write down g is equal to h minus ts. Okay. So I can write down the expression of u. So how will I write down? What I will do is I will write u from here as equal to h minus pv okay and then this expression a in this case instead of here from this expression a what is h h is equal to g plus ts so u becomes then i substitute the value of h here it becomes g plus ts minus pv so this is the expression for internal energy because you know all the expressions here g you know s you know and the volume you know so you can now substitute all the values here so if you write down all the values here and simplify so you will get because kt square uh, or i can write down the individual expression because g i can write down minus kt ln delta okay for g then t into the entropy term what is the entropy term it is k ln delta plus kt dou ln delta by dou t. This is the second term and third term is minus p v. So minus minus cancels out it is p into this term v. So p k t into dou ln delta by dou p. 
okay so now if you open the brackets you will get you open the bracket so this cancels out so minus kt ln delta this cancels out so you are having a, an expression this equal to this and this will cancel out so t into kt will be kt square do ln delta by do t plus pkt do ln delta by do p so this is your expression for u so this is the expression for u now likewise i can also write expression for cp cp is equal to t into do s by do t p into n now you take the expression of s from this expression b and do our derivative respect to temperature if you do that you will get 2 kt dou t plus kt square into dou square so this will be your expression of cp but now so what you can do is now you can write down so the overall and now what i will do i will write down the expression for s now let us find what will be the expression for s in terms of uh, known variables so i will just simplify this point b so from point b i will write down on the next slide so let us write the entropy expression again here the entropy expression as from the previous slide is will be s equal to k ln delta plus kt into do ln delta by do t do ln delta upon do t okay so this was the expression now what i will do because we know that uh, dg is equal to minus s dt because this follows from the expression where you have the expression uh, follows due to this fact that dg is equal to minus s dt okay plus summation of mu i into d n i so plus v d p plus v d p so in this case if i am taking the the derivative with respect to temperature so i am keeping both pressure and the number of molecules as constant so in this case all this goes away this this term goes away dp term goes away so what you are left is simply dg is equal to minus sdt but uh, uh, we know what is the dg value so this dg is nothing but i can write down in terms of minus s so i can write down here so s equal to minus dg by dt okay so now we know that minus d upon dt in what was g g was equal to minus k of minus kt ln delta so you do the derivative of this term so you will get so with respect to t means minus minus gets positive so only you have k ln delta so that's why we will write down here as instead of s i can write down this way k l and delta i can write down in terms of g by t so i the expression then becomes if i do the term c becomes it will be g by t plus then you do the derivative with respect to temperature if you do the derivative with respect to temperature you will get kt upon delta because what i will do here is this do l and delta by do t i can write down by 1 upon delta into do t so it means i can write like this also k delta plus okay exactly that's what i am doing i am doing a derivative of the partition function with respect to temperature so now you consider that expression which we have just now obtained earlier so if you consider what was the expression of the binary mixture partition function that was nothing but qa into qb across all volume e to the power of minus pv by kt now you substitute this delta you take the uh, then do do t of this expression summation of qa qb 
e to the power of minus p v by k t. Now, in this case, q a and q b both have terms of temperature and it is multiplied with minus p v by k t. So, if you do the mathematics correctly, you will get s is equal to g by t, s equal to g by t plus k t by delta into e to the power of minus p v by k t minus p v by k t v then you have st states of a e to the power of minus e i a by k t into by k t then you have the terms e i a plus e i b plus p v upon k t square. So, this is the entire term you will be getting or I can simplify it further you will get g by t is nothing but equal to. So, this term if you see I can write down as this is the e bar by t plus p into v bar by t which is equal to nothing but g by t plus h bar into t because this is u plus p v. So, because u plus p v is nothing but this is equal to h of e plus p into this. So, that is why I can write this I have combined both these in terms of enthalpy. So, this is enthalpy. So, how did this term come? Let me tell you if you take this because this entire term is multiplied on this term. So, in this term what we have is the total energy because I have clapped all the energy together e i j e to the power of minus e i b this term together both the terms are there and then multiplied by this term. So, I will just write it as a total energy e that is why this if I club them together this is nothing but E i plus E b which is the total energy that is total energy multiplied by the exponential and the Boltzmann term. So, it becomes the average energy term divided by temperature ok. So, that is one term another term is your P v bar because I have extended this P v into this entire two terms. So, when this P v is multiplied with this term as well as this term so it will be P into ensemble average of v by t. So, this is the expression for entropy. Now, what is the expression for volume? So, volume will also go in a similar manner minus k t by delta e to the power of minus p v by k t all the states of a. So, it will be e to the power of minus e i a by k t then all the e to the power of minus e j b by k t minus p v by k t. So, if you do that you will get simply this term ok. Let us write the other terms for mu also. So, mu a will be equal to mu a chemical potential will be equal to minus k t upon delta summation of v e to the power of minus p v by k t all the states of i states of a whenever i write i it is of states of a whenever i write j it is states of b. So, this will be e to the power of minus e i a by k t then states of b j e to the power of minus e j by b by k t then i will have a term minus 1 by k t into dou i a by dou n a ok because it is for the chemical potential of compound a like this I can also write chemical potential of compound b as a similar expression what you will be having is e to the power of volume e to the power of minus p v by k t then summation e to the power of minus e i a by k t this is of states i 
this is again states of j e to the power of minus e j b by k t. Then I will have a similar term, but the derivative with respect to n b. So, this is the term for chemical potential because if you understand this comes from both these expressions actually comes from this expression which I have written in the previous slide that is mu i equal to this expression. Keeping the pressure temperature as constant and n of j is not equal to i. So, well, that is what I have done for a I am doing with respect to n a for b I am doing with respect to n b. So, I am taking this delta what I did was I took this minus k t upon delta and I took this term rho of n n i this way I did it. So, I arrived at this expression. So, you do this with respect to a and with respect to b. So, these are the two expressions. This is to A, you have a derivative of term E i because this particular E i will be doing with respect to N a because this energy term will be a function of N a and similarly this derivative with respect to N b. So, these are the terms. So, we have found out terms uh, expressions for entropy, expressions for enthalpy, then we have found out mu a, we have found out mu b and we have also found out your C p. All these terms we have already found out. So, this is we have found out for the binary mixture. Okay. So, this completes the NPT ensemble problem. Now, let us go for the adsorption isothermal problem. So, in this adsorption isothermal problem, what it says a flat graphite surface is in contact with a reservoir of gas molecules at a fixed chemical potential. Okay. There are m sites on the graphite surface on which gas molecules can adsorb. Each site can adsorb only a single molecule and the adsorbed molecules do not interact with each other. Starting from the grand canonical partition function, develop an expression for the coverage that is the fraction of the adsorption sites that are occupied. What do you mean by occupied means it contains an adsorbed gas molecule as a function of chemical potential of the gas molecules in the reservoir. So, if it means that if I have a graphite surface, let us suppose this is a graphite surface. Okay. So, there are some gas molecules here coming close contact and the graphite surface this has got some holes in it or the you can say it is the sites where the adsorbed gas gets attacked or attached to each other. So, it means each gas molecule can only occupy one vacant site. So, it means suppose this comes here. So, it will be here you will be having this so, it means your interaction will be something like this. So, what you are having is you are having a gas reservoir, this is a gas reservoir with a fixed chemical potential mu. Okay? And let us assume there are m vacant sites, m vacant sites. Okay? So, any of the sites are equivalent, they are indistinguishable and any of the gas molecule can get attached or adsorbed onto this vacant sites. So, if this is adsorbed, so this is one adsorption has happened on the one site. So, if there are m vacant sites and let us say there are n molecules where m let us say m is very very high than n. So, our question is to find out what will be this n bar average number of molecules attached onto this site by total number of sites. So, this we have to find out what is the fractional coverage that is a fraction of the adsorption sites that are occupied. So, this is the total number of sites and these are the total number of attached to this adsorption sites. This is the function we have to find out. So, how do we proceed? So, what we do is that 
So ultimately again we find out a similar problem. So what do we have is we have n gas molecules and uh, it has to adsorb on m sites. Now how will it do? So it can occupy any of the m sites and if it occupies any site so it does not know which molecules are adsorbed on which site and which site because neither molecules neither sites are distinguishable. So all these events are independent of each other. So it means there are how many ways of arranging n gas molecules on m adsorption sites. So that is nothing but we did it earlier this will be nothing but m factorial by n factorial by m minus n factorial. This is the number of ways number of ways of arranging n molecules on m sites ok. So this is very important if you know this particular uh, expression then you can now write down the way we did it for canonical that is the degeneracy into the Boltzmann constant. So now let us write now the partition function because it is mu vt the chemical potential of the reservoir of the gas is constant this is mu. So let us write the grand canonical partition function of the entire system. So for the entire system you will get the partition function summation of n then uh, e to the power of n mu by kt into the partition function nvt this is a by definition it comes. So if I want to write down in this manner e to the power of n mu by kt this q is the partition function of these many sites occupied. So it means that you can write down in terms of a single function that is m factorial by n factorial by m minus n factorial into q a d. So this is the partition function of an adsorbed gas molecule onto a single site and if there are n such molecules which are adsorbed so it will be q a d to the power of n ok this is the expression. So this is how many ways it can arrange and this is multiplied by the individual partition function to the power of n number of molecules. So some little bit mathematics what I will do is I will just rearrange the equation. So it will be m factorial by n factorial by m minus n factorial. So what I will do I will club these two together because here you have e to the power of n here you have q a d to the power of n. So I can write down this expression as e to the power of mu k t e to the power of mu k t into q a d to the power of n ok I can write down this way or I can also write down in this manner I want to use the binomial expression term in this case. So you have m factorial by n factorial by m minus n factorial then what I will have is q a d into e to the power of mu k t ok to the power of n. Now in order to make it as a binomial expression I will just add 1 to the power of m minus n ok 1 to the power of m minus n. So you know what is this term like so if you remember correctly the binomial expression term so it is x plus y to the power of n is equal to summation of n factorial by m factorial by n minus m factorial by x to the power of n into y to the power of m x to the power of m m into y to the power of n minus m. So this is what we have already defined. So likewise I will just define this expression. So what happens is I will get this term by n factorial. So this will become divided by n factorial. So what we get is simply the the partition function it is equal to just write down again the expression m factorial by n factorial 
by m minus n factorial then qad e to the power of mu by kt to the power of n into 1 of m minus n. So this is nothing but I am getting a partition function because m factorial is here I will also multiply with the m factorial below. So it is qad e to the power of mu by kt plus 1 to the power of m by m factorial because I am adding the coefficients so this is n plus m minus n. So this n n cancels this becomes only m so that is why it is m. Same way if I add these two you get m factorial. So this is what the entire expression looks like. So this is the partition function in terms of the if you requiring this expression later. So now what is the average number of molecules then? How can I write the average number of molecules? So average number of molecules if you recollect the expression is something like this. It is do ln by do of mu of v of t is nothing but kt by mu of do of do mu. This expression we have already discussed earlier in the grand canonical ensemble. So I am just writing it. So I am just putting this partition function below. So this which is equal to kt then I have to do this derivative with respect to mu e to the power of n mu by kt into q of nvt q of nvt. So this becomes kt this into so because it is on mu so only this term will come q does not have any term with respect to mu. So you will have n by kt outside n by kt into e to the power of n mu then q. But this q we have already found out what is this q we have already found out this q is nothing but m factorial by n factorial into m minus n factorial into the adsorption partition function of a single element or single gas to the power of n. So this we have already obtained in the previous slide. So I am writing here so because this is nothing but uh, the entire q this is the entire q. So I am writing it in this manner. So let us now discuss more about the last expression. So n bar becomes kt summation of n by kt do e to the power of n mu by kt into m factorial by n factorial by m minus n factorial then qad to the power of n qad to the power of n. So I can just uh, rewrite this expression in this manner. So it will be kt upon the partition function then you have summation e to the power of n mu by kt e to the power of n mu by kt. Now what I will do is that I will write this n inside this particular n I will bring inside. So if I bring that inside it will be n into m factorial by and this I will write as n into n minus 1 factorial then m minus n factorial and then remaining as it is qad to the power of n. Okay. So now if you see if I write like this I can cancel out the n. So what I am having is n bar equals to kt the partition function into summation of e of n mu by kt then I am having it is m I write here m into m minus 1 factorial and I write here n minus 1 factorial by m minus n factorial this way I can write it down and this remaining terms remain as it is okay. If I simplify this further what I will get I will get the n bar as kt of this partition function. Now what I will do 
I will club these two together like before. So this will be uh, m, I'm taking m outside, this m I'm taking outside. So what I'm having is m minus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial by m minus n factorial into what I will do is qad into e to the power of this term e to the power of mu by kt and the entire term goes to term n okay or this n bar I can also simplify it further so I can write down as kt m m is already there m into what I will do I will take one term outside so if I take one term outside it will be qad e to the power of just take one term outside so it will be a summation term here m minus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial by m minus n factorial then this will become qad by e to the power of mu by kt by n minus 1 okay now again what i do is this n bar in order to use the binomial expression let us keep this expression as it is ktm then this will be qad e to the power of mu by kt then summation of m minus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial m minus n factorial then this term qad e to the power of mu by kt n minus 1 again what i will do is here i will write here 1 again the same way to the power of m minus n so now you have this as x and this you have as y so you know x plus y to the power of some of the coefficients so it means what i will have is so if i simplify these terms you will be having is so this term qad e to the power of mu kt then you will be having qad e to the power of mu kt plus 1 m minus 1 by m minus 1 factorial by now I will just do what if we have got the expression for the partition function from the previous slide I will write down the expression of the partition function e to the power of mu kt plus 1 to the power of m by m factorial okay so into m so if you see that all these terms will simplify and uh, this entire term will go away this qad qad terms this will be uh, finally if you do you will see qad e to the power of mu kt into m by qad mu by kt plus 1 so this is nothing but n bar or n bar upon m is equal to qad e to the power of mu by kt by qad e to the power of mu by kt plus 1 so this is the expression of the fractional coverage okay this is the expression of the fractional coverage now let us write it in terms of chemical potential how we write it so we recognize in the previous canonical ensemble what we wrote was that it will be mu of temperature and pressure you know is equal to mu 0 of reference pressure plus kt ln p by p0 now what i will do i will replace this mu with this expression in the previous term so e to the power of mu by kt then becomes e to the power of mu 0 by kt minus ln of p0 plus ln of p okay or i can also write down as p upon p0 p upon p0 
e to the power of mu 0 by k t okay this expression. So now I will put this expression in the expression of fractional coverage. So fractional coverage given by theta is equal to n bar by m which is nothing but q adsorption into p upon p naught by e to the power of mu 0 by k t this is one term and then you have q adsorption p by p naught e to the power of mu by k t plus 1 this term or you can write down as lambda to the power of minus 1 into p lambda to the power of minus 1 plus p plus 1 or p upon p plus lambda which is nothing but where you have lambda as equal to p0 by e to the power of minus mu0 by kt by qad. So fractional coverage thus becomes it is nothing but the total pressure total pressure plus lambda this is the expression for fractional coverage. So this is how we have obtained the fractional coverage for the reservoir of molecules getting adsorbed onto a vacant sites. So hope you have understood all the ensembles and which one to use for what purpose. So I will close out the lecture here and uh, this was all about the problems I, which is well, some of the problems are unsolved problems from the book of Sandler. So now you are in a position to apply these ensembles in your study. So from the next module what we will start is we will be starting with the uh, video equations of states. So, we will see how this video equation can be obtained and derived. So, till now we have did with all the ensembles, we have covered all the ensembles and then we will move on after the video equations, we will move on to the condensed matter, the liquid and also to the solid matter. Thank you. Mm -hmm.